Hi everyone, Paula here from Goes to Eleven Media, bringing you another episode of Grounds for Divorce Coffee Bean Review. And I'm joined here by my husband, Rick. AKA Spatula Patrol. What? Spatula Patrol. Why? Because five minutes ago, you are coming down the stairs, you poor thing, and you wiped out. And all I heard was a <laughs> on the ground. <laughs> and then I'm like, what was that? <laughs> I'm like, I go, did you wipe out? And I come around the corner and you're, you're laying down on the ground and going, oh. <laughs> I've fallen and I can't get up. So it's like spatula patrol getting you up off the ground. I How's your wrist? Step. It's okay. Yeah, she missed a step. Yeah. Just a step. The ball the last step. Well, at least we're here and yes. we're not at the hospital, thank God. So I'm glad you're okay. Yes. So anyways. Shall we talk about your t-shirt and who you're gonna give a shout out to? Shout out to my good buddy, Jody Besser, JV, Big Red EDC on uh, YouTube and on Instagram. Uh, I mentioned JV before for you guys. Just a great guy and just wanted to do a little shout out for him and uh, hope everybody's doing well down in the good old Seattle down there. So yeah. Oh, we got the kettle going here. So moving along, we have a little different segment we're going to do tonight. Correct. And we have all the accoutrement. And mm. uh, what? You and your fancy vocabulary. Oh, yes, yes. No, we, He's we, always we. showing off. <laughs> there we go. Saying words I don't understand. <laughs> um, we're going to actually be making the pour overs here for you. And Correct. You have been working diligently on getting everything organized for that. So I will hand this over oh, to you. Oh, yeah. And I will probably, in a minute, step out of frame because I'm going to film some stuff from the side as you're doing this lovely process. All right. So pour over coffees, that's the one I usually use, my preferred method. I do like espressos and uh, Americanos, but for the most part, I do the pour overs partly because it's quieter than my espresso machine. <laughs> and why and do you think that is? <laughs> I'm grateful for that, especially after it's been nonstop 3 a.m. nights for me. Yes. So you being up early for work, it's uh, having the coffee grinder going and doing its thing. And so thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. All right, so we need some equipment. Uh, but before I get into that, uh, pour overs are not an exact science. Uh, you can look up countless number of recipes. So as we go through this, I will state a few of the, the particulars. All right, so I have my gooseneck. Which we reviewed just last week. So last week or the week before, yeah. And I have it at uh, 194 degrees because I'm using a dark roast. If it was a lighter roast, I would have gone up to over 200 degrees Fahrenheit. All right, and... I've got my glass. I have a Melita filter here and it's for a cone pour over cup. So with this, I've had this thing probably for over 20 some odd years. Uh, and I've moved on to, away from plastic, to a ceramic uh, pour over. You can call them a brewer or, or a cone. Now to make this one fit in here, I actually fold the bottom over and then I fold it over again just so it doesn't pop open because these things are not obviously can't be glued together, they're just pressed together. And then pop it open, put it in the brewing cup. And as the water is warming up, I'm actually going to do a wash. You're just going to wash the filter, just give it a, a rinse through, and then you got to chuck the water out. Don't forget to chuck the water out because I don't know how many times 
I put in the coffee and pour my hot water and brew it right into the wash water. Not cool. All right, so the kettle has beeped. It's at 194 degrees. So by washing the paper filter, it simply gets rid of that papery taste. And you can see my filter is way bigger than needs to be. But I find with the coffee and the water and stuff, I have way fewer accidents with a larger filter. All right, so I have another cup here. I'm gonna put the dirty water over there. And I have a scale. So just a kitchen scale. You can buy some that are specifically for pour overs. <clears throat> and they actually will have a timer on them. So you're gonna put the coffee mug and the brewer on top, and I'm gonna turn it on and zero the weight scale here to grams. And I've pre-ground pre 21 grams of coffee. So general consensus shows about 60 grams of ground coffee to one liter of water. So what I have in here is 21 grams and I'm gonna put 350 grams of water. So in goes my ground coffee, which is a medium, medium fine-ish grind. And take your finger, make a nice little hole in there. And that way the grounds can all get wet on the first pour. So with this first pour, it's called the bloom stage. I'm taking my gooseneck kettle and I'm just wetting in the center and going in a bit of a circular motion. And I'm measuring between 50 to 60 grams of water. That's about enough to wet the grinds and let it bloom. A few moments later. They say about the whole time from start to finish uh, should be about three to three and a half minutes. More moments later. So this part will take just under three minutes. Uh. And you just go in a circular motion. I like to let it fill up a little bit, let it sit and brew for a moment. And you can actually swirl just to make sure that you're getting a full extraction from your grinds. More moments later. Part of the trick apparently is to not let the coffee grinds settle on the sides of the paper. You want it to all go down to the bottom of the cone. When I first started out making uh, pour over coffees many, many, many years ago, um, I just took the grinds, boiled that hot water, dumped it in, and that was it. Uh, but it's interesting to see that there is a way to get better flavor out of your coffee to do this actual method. So I'm still swirling this and we are at two and a half minutes total time from the bloom. And I'm at 290 grams of water, so we still have to add some more till it reaches 350. And we are there. So much later that the old narrator got tired of waiting and they had to hire a new one. And honey, you can fast forward this so everyone doesn't have to be bored and wait for this to drip through. One eternity later. Cool. Okay, coffee's ready? Yeah. All right, so the coffee's ready. I've extracted, it's taken three and a half minutes now. I'm actually gonna just pop this over here. You're gonna put that over there. I get the dirty water. There you go. There's my coffee. <laughs> Maybe that's why uh, sometimes I go, mm, I don't know. <laughs> you give me this stuff. So this is uh, a company we haven't tried yet. Mm. That's a really bold flavor. Mm -hmm. It 
it's nice. There's there's some really nice. Uh, it sort of hits you up front at first, and then you get it at the back of the tongue mm -hmm. as well. So this is a dark roast. Mm. So I boiled the water and That's I let nice it. Time. It actually cooled below 190, I suspect. Yeah, that's yeah. good. It's very nice. All right, well, thank you there. Uh, uh, what, should we, what should we call you? We have to come up with, like, you know, the Big Bang Theory had Professor Proton. And no. then, there was, then there was Bill Nye, the science no. guy. We have to come up with, you called me Sidekick Rick. <laughs> which has gone far and wide. There's been many people referring to me as Sidekick this, that, and the next thing. Oh, yes, lucky you. I started <laughs> hey, something. Thank you for that. You're very welcome. Right, so now we have to come up with something for you. Crash test Paula. I would Crash like test to... Paula. I like that. <laughs> Coming down the stairs. <laughs> yeah, whatever. I would like to state that we will have the instructions listed below. So you can refer. You can refer to the recipe, the range. So what that means is that Rick has to do all the typing and data entry of this into the video. Yeah, and on memory. <laughs> awesome. Well, listen, thank you so much. This is great. Thank you it's, uh, for the opportunity. We'll have to uh, get you a medic. <laughs> She's putting the ice pack on her wrist again. Um, <laughs> folks, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And we held this, give it a thumbs up because Crash Test Paula here survived her crash and did this little demo for you. So. <laughs> but um, give it a thumbs up, click subscribe, hit that reminder bell. We really appreciate your support. And don't forget to visit our store, groundsfordivorcecoffee.ca. We're in the process of duplicating it right now, and there will be a Canadian site and there will be a U.S. international site. So bear with us. We're still in the transition time, uh, but it should be done here in the next week or two weeks, of course. In the meantime, thank you, and we'll see you all back here next week. Thanks, everyone. Ciao.